Hi guys, in this video I just wanted to show you something that uh, has happened to me a lot and I want to I want you to be aware of it so you don't get caught spending hours trying to figure out what's going on. Well, what am I talking about? Well, I have this variable here called standing. And if we take a look at it, it's got it's standing at a college, at a university, and there are nine levels, all the way from alumni to freshman, graduate student, sophomore, and so on. Well, what happens when I say, just show me a freshman? As we can see in this data set, there are definitely many instances of freshmen, so I should see a lot of freshmen. And when I run that, I see they're all false. So it wasn't able to find any freshmen. Well, I was scratching my head when this happened. So I ran it a couple times. And then I figured out there's a good way to get around this. Anytime you have a factor variable and you're, you're taking this data set from someone else or somewhere else and you didn't build it yourself, you gotta, this is a good way to find out what's going on. So let's do levels. And, sorry, wrong variable, standing. And we see here are the nine levels. And look, looky, looky, there is a space before and after freshmen. And, as, and it's the same for every other level as well. There's this space right here and right here. And that's causing that function that we were just running to not run properly, to not be able to find any freshmen. Let's see what happens if we add the space after and the space before. And look at that. We get a whole bunch of trues in here as expected. Okay? So this is something you should look out for because this is going to cause tons of problems uh, in any analysis that you're going to do later. So especially with factor variables, run the, run the levels function and this will let you know exactly if, how uh, the, the factor or the observations were input originally. And here we could see there was a space before and a space after. So you're going to have to use that space before and space after whenever you're trying to find a specific level of this particular variable. So I hope this was helpful. Till next time, be sure to check out my other R tutorials. Excel, Access, PowerPoint, Math, Statistics, and other computer tutorial videos on my channel. Subscribe at the top left of this video now and click on our sponsor's ads so these videos keep coming to you for free. Till next time, thanks for watching and have a great day.